Hello scrappers. I got to make a run up to the city today so I thought I'd uh, take a little bit of a sheet of aluminum up with me. Got these two barrels full. I got a little bit right there and then I might go ahead and check this roll out here, cut it up a little bit into a little more manageable pieces. Okay, pull one off, another piece falls. But I think I got a few staples in here that I'll have to look and pull out as as I go. I'll try to flatten that out and cut it into you know two foot lengths or something like that. I got a set of electric shears. So I know it's not going to be a big payday, but figure something to take in. I checked with uh, Metal Shack and Al's Recycling. They're both paying 42 cents for sheet. And then I had a barrel, a little over a barrel of cast, plus I got a bunch of big loose stuff, and I still got a grill over there with a aluminum, cast aluminum bottom on it that I need to get, get that off of there. <coughs> so, but, uh, so I thought, well, for now, oh, this will get two, two barrels of aluminum out of the trailer, give me a little more room in there. Like I say, not big money, but it'll pay for the gas to go up there to the city. So, we'll get that loaded up, and uh, then I'll bring that other over here to the pallet, run my drop cord out, and cut that up and pull any metal staples out of it I see, get it on there. I got that net right there that I'll throw over the top that hopefully will keep anything from blowing out. I might just take all this uh, flat stuff and just stand it up against the front of the bed and then push these barrels up against it so but for right now I'm just going to get the barrels up in the truck and then park the tractor well I'll probably leave the pallet pla uh, as a plat work platform until I get that other stuff cut up Takes a minute to walk around that tractor. I got the brush hog on it. good for now until I get that other bit processed uh, we'll get that done okay all loaded up ready to go got the net over it so hopefully that'll keep anything from blowing out it's so, yeah the sheet of aluminum is so light almost need an enclosed trailer or something to haul it in but that'll work I guess I really think she's gonna ride on the back out there But there it is, so I'll get a video when we get get back with the payout ticket and see how we do. It's the only problem is the aluminum is just so light. Even though I got two full barrels full, there's probably, if we're lucky, 100 pounds. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I found a couple other pieces of sheet aluminum out here, so I threw them up there in the front too. Still got that wind turbine. I got a break down or flat flat make sure I get all the get it cleaned up 
flatten it down. There's another little piece of sheet I could have thrown on there. Oh well, I got more later. Gotta tell you that, that whole satellite dish there is pretty much all aluminum, so I gotta strip it down one of these days. I got that old John boat over there too that's sheet aluminum. Some sheet and some extrusion. So, yeah, out there in that horse trailer, that's where I uh, kind of store my full barrels. I got a bunch of loose, big cast aluminum out there. One barrel of cast aluminum and one barrel of extruded aluminum. So, other than that, I don't have a whole lot of aluminum. Yeah, about a quarter, maybe a third of a barrel of cast there. Two thirds of a barrel of extrusion and a little bit of sheet, not much. So, getting a little bit of stainless steel, not a lot. So we're slowly getting it, a little pile built up, but like I said, the sheet, it seems like you get a lot more sheet aluminum than anything else. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and take that in and get it out of the way. Try and make a little room. So we'll see you guys when I get back. Hey, hello scrappers. Back from the scrap yard. Been back for a little bit. About an hour, went in and got something to eat. But anyway, here's our payout ticket. Looks like we had 163 and then with the, we'll probably just, just hold it back there and zoom in. Yeah, that's working. Anyway, we had uh, two barrels weighed a total of 48 pounds, so 163 total weight. So we had 115 pounds of aluminum. Told me 42 on the phone. I didn't look at that on here, but uh, I should have said something, I guess. They only paid me 40 cents a pound instead of 42. For a total of $46. So that still wasn't bad. Made the gas money. I had to go up to up the city anyway, so that I'll just take some metal with me. That'll give me a little bit of pocket money. Help pay for the. You know, two birds and one stone, as they say. Stopped by Northern Tool. Picked up a couple of these uh, WD-40 spray bottles. Let me zoom back out here. They're like $5.99 a piece, something like that. Supposed to be 16 ounce. So I picked up a couple of those. They said they only had two in an inventory, but there's actually a third one back there. So I got another empty one here. There's a guy on eBay has one of the older styles, the round one, and it seems like he wanted 30 bucks or some kind of crazy price. But I got a gallon of WD-40. So I've got part of a gallon can of breakaway over here too. So. That stuff's pretty good. That, that stuff seems like it's thicker. So I'm just kind of curious how well it penetrates, you know, say a locked on, locked, rusted in bolt or something, because being thicker it probably doesn't soak in as good. And I got that breakaway at, at an auction a few years back. So, been out here a little bit, cleaning up a little bit of brass, trying to kind of clean up this surface here a little bit slowly getting there a couple first aid kits on there yet and got some wire and some electrodes for multimeters you can sort through all that stuff kind of thinking about do I want to tackle the shelves <laughs> yeah yep I need to. I need to go through everything and clear out a lot of stuff in here. A lot of scrap metal. Well, that's it for now, I guess. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Not not getting rich, but almost kind of makes you, makes you wonder. You know, $23 a barrel for sheet aluminum. Is it really worth saving? 
you know, only get 23 bucks out of a whole barrel. But you got it anyway, right? So it takes a minute to clean it up and toss it into the barrel. Or like here with the bucket shelf, toss it in the bucket. And then when the bucket gets full, take it in and dump it in the barrel. Looking at uh, old Roger from CU Scrapping, his, his video where he's moving into moving out of his shop, putting a lot of stuff into his storage units right now. <clears throat> but it had a good view of his bucket shelf, which he uses those rectangle uh, cat litter buckets. It looking looking pretty good. I guess he had a lot of people asking about his bucket shelf, so he referred them to me where I <laughs> to the video I made on on this one two, three years ago. Serves me well. You figure it takes up the space of, I don't know, these buckets don't go all the way to the wall, so you, you can say you get 12 buckets in the space of eight, maybe. But it saves spot, it saves space, it's easy to get them in and out of there. So, I don't know about this top one, because it's, I'm probably gonna have to empty it by hand at least halfway because it's heavy yeah okay i'm gonna get off here and we'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully in that video i'll be tearing something down so we'll catch you later bye bye